insane! This seems dangerous. Hey, oh, hey. Christmas trees. Headed back to the studio to get fired. We are going back to Mocha Monkey to prep for tomorrow where we're throwing pots at the Mall of America. So we got a ton to do. Oh, that seems scary. What do you think? What do you think? You think it's gonna make it? Hope so. Okay, so we're going to the Mall of America tomorrow, throw pots, sell pottery, and so I gotta bring my wheel, gotta bring clay, gotta bring pots, gotta bring display, gotta bring a POS system, gotta bring money, gotta bring, holy smokers. I have to bring so much. I have to bring so, so, so many things. So I'm going there right now to do it. I am putting my seat belt on because seat belts are importante. If you've ever seen me not wearing my seatbelt, terrible, terrible. So we're headed back to Mocha Monkey. We're gonna pack up the car. I wonder how many potters have ever thrown pots inside of the Mall of America. I bet it is not that many. What else do we have to do? So display, sale, stuff to throw, tools to throw. So I think we just about got everything packed up. Okay, so just check this out. Got our wheel, clay. Bats, clay and bats, not clay, bats. We got pots packed in the worst way possible. 50-50 chance that everything in there breaks. Uh, mugs, more pottery, those are ornaments. More mugs, underneath here. See that, more mugs. Got tablecloth, something important in here probably. More pots, cart, bags, and wrapping newspaper stuff, something up there. What's in here? More clay, more bats. I gotta bring the clay inside tonight so it doesn't freeze. Very bad, bad thing if clay freezes. All right, we got our tools. I gotta do a, I gotta do a tools. What tools do you need? I gotta do that video. So we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to having everything. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of freaking stuff to have to throw cell pots, we got like our square POS system, we got our, yeah, so other stuff, bubble wrap, may or may not need that, square POS. Good morning guys, it's 6.45 this morning and today we are throwing pots at the Mall of America. We're not throwing pots until noon, but I'm up this early because we're literally gonna be there at nine to start setting up. I'm a little nervous. I'm just, I'm bringing a lot of pottery there and I don't know, I'll be a little discouraged if I don't sell that much, but it's kind of a win-win. If I sell a lot, then that's good. I don't have to bring that much pottery home, but if I don't sell that much, then I have more pottery to bring home and I can put it up on Etsy or I can sell it at Mocha Monkey. So, but I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a little discouraged if I don't sell that much. I mean, there's like gonna be literally like a million people at the Mall of America today. A Saturday in December at the Mall of America. I don't think I've ever been to the Mall of America on a Saturday in December, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna see how this goes. And I'm gonna bring you along with me. Let's do it. We woke up this morning to like a gorgeous winter wonderland. The trees are like unbelievable. You know what? Minnesota's cold and snowy, but it's pretty gorgeous sometimes. Okay guys, we are deep in the Mall of America right now. This is a giant elevator. We're in the loading dock. Like, check that out. Not gonna lie. It's kind of freaky. This is like behind the scenes mall stuff. This 
It's insane. I don't even know where I'm going. I hope S is the right number. S isn't a number, it's a letter. Guys, if you never see this video, I died in here. Just made the first sale of the day. John the Potter, picture right here of the girl. <laughs> Shout out to you. That teapot she made was awesome. Oh. Watch a YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, which ones? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> the John the Potter ones, though? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Especially those. Yeah, yeah. And she's an amazing s artist as well. You showed me a teapot, that was pretty sweet. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I throw standing up because my back is so hurt so bad. <laughs> it's 4:15. I threw a bunch of clay. Now we're packing up so many things. This is gonna take forever. Wish us luck. Craziness, Saturday in December. I love how the parking ramps at the Mall of America are all like states, like Arizona, Florida, Hawaii. I remember as a little kid, we'd come here sometimes, like, Mom, Mom, I wanna park in Hawaii. Like, Mom, I wanna park in Florida. Like, that's so cool. Oh, that looks pretty, my, I look pretty cool right now, actually. It's all these, lights around me. Okay, so four hours throwing and selling pots at the Mall of America. Whew. I hope we got a good video out of it. Because this is a lot of work. Oh. Well, that was a day. That was a day. We left at, what, 7.30? And now it's 8. And what did we learn? The Mall of America is insanely busy. There's too many people. <laughs> and it's not particularly people that love buying handmade pottery. We learned that there's so many people at the Mall of America, but there's also so much stuff. There's so many things for sale at the Mall of America that it's hard to sell anything. And people are, there's so many people walking around. And where we were, that was, was tough. Where, it was a cool spot. Yeah, it was really cool. I have Indian food on my chin. Got some, some Indian food. Celebrated with my favorite food, Indian food. Yeah, it was a lot of cool stuff, but it was just a lot of stuff. And yours was kind of, it was kind of like... Yeah, I mean, a lot of people got a lot of compliments on it, but not, you know, the Art Wander, the other show that I do, we did way better at the Art Wander. So, yeah, it was fun, it was cool. Got some John the Potter fans out there. Yeah, who, were, who, who came and saw me? 
Ava, I think was her name. And Mike, a couple people I talked to for a while that watched their YouTube channels. A couple other people said they watched the, the videos too, so that was really fun to talk to people about that. Yeah, it was fun to throw pots, share, share my love of ceramics and pottery. But yeah, didn't sell a bunch, so kids love it. Kids love watching it, so hopefully we sparked spark their artistic creative mind. Ryder, come over here. You like the in and videos. <gasps> oh, yes you do, there you are. Ryder was there watching me. Ryder was there watching a lot. Yeah, do you wanna get on my lap? So Ryder was there, our families were there. It was really, really fun. But the sales were not great, so you know what? It's okay though, we move on. We're gonna put a bunch of mugs up on Etsy so you guys get a chance to buy them. So I guess if you're a John the Potter follower, it's a good thing. So we'll put them back at Mocha, a lot at back at Mocha Monkey too. What else, what else did we learn? What did we say on the ride home? There was like a couple things that we said. Yeah, people at the Mall of America just aren't looking for handmade, like handcrafted stuff. Like if you're in a giant mall, I'm generalizing a little bit, but the people that are looking for the type of stuff that I'm making probably aren't going to the Mall of America to find it, right? You're going on Etsy or you're going into your local like art store, your pottery store. There you are. You're right. The people that shop at the mall are not, they might love handmade stuff, but you don't go to the mall to buy handmade stuff. You just, that's not what you're looking for when you go to the Mall of America. Right, Ryder? Yeah, not my, not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. I'd rather sell online at Mocha Monkey and maybe at art fairs and art shows, but it was really fun. It's fun, where, to, it's fun where, to throw. Where you know people yeah. appreciate yeah. they're going there. They're going there because they appreciate handmade stuff. Okay, all right, Ryder, we're gonna end this video. You wanna end it with me? Come here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, share, all the things. Check it out on Patreon. Check out the Etsy shop for a few more pieces going up before Christmas. Hopefully we can get them out and get them to you before Christmas. And that's it. Happy bedtime, Ryder. Happy bedtime. We'll see you in the next video.